Well, good morning, boys and girls. We are going to start our day today with an SEL lesson, which is the best way to start the day. So to begin, let's go ahead and greet our buddies. Let's buddy up and say good morning. Excellent. Yesterday, we were talking a lot about how important it is to understand other people's feelings in certain situations. Do you guys remember how we had our faces up around the room? Okay, I'm going to give you a couple new scenarios that we didn't do yesterday. When you've decided how you feel in that situation, move to the face that best describes how you feel. If none of these match, you're going to go to the middle of the room again, and we'll talk about how you feel a little bit differently than what's up around the room. Are you ready? Yeah. Your first situation is this. You are going to represent our class in the school spelling bee. Some of us are excited to have the opportunity, some of us have it under control, and some of us are a little bit nervous and worried about that. Excellent. Okay, second scenario. You left your homework at home today. How do you feel? So we've got some people angry at yourselves, maybe mad. We've got some sad people, no money from the, for you, okay? Worried that you're not going to get it done, maybe? Good. What about my people in the middle? Cooper, how would you feel? Embarrassed. Okay. I feel, I feel like worried and sad. So caught in between two emotions. Good. I will want to stuff myself in a box to block out that. Oh, just hide and forget it ever happened? Yeah. So, boys and girls, we were talking about how everybody feels differently in different situations. Did everybody in our class ever move to one emotion? Did everybody feel the same in that situation? No, you were all given the same situation, but you didn't move to the same emotion. Okay, go ahead and come back to your seats. Does anybody remember that big word we learned yesterday that means understanding how other people feel. Oh, good memories. Excellent. Empathy. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this together. Empathy is what? On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. When someone understands another person's feelings and thoughts. So boys and girls, even though you felt excited about the spelling bee, is it important to understand that other people might be worried about that? Absolutely. But how do we know? How do we recognize how somebody else is feeling? Well, that's what today is about. It's about being a feeling detective. What are the clues that point to how somebody else is feeling? To do that, boys and girls, we're going to work through this worksheet. On the front side, you have a circle similar to the emotions that you see around the room. Okay, I have written an emotion at the top for you, and I will pass them out. You will just get one of the six emotions we're talking about, okay? Once you get your paper, I want you to do your best to draw what that face looks like. What does somebody look like when they're happy? What does somebody look like when they're sad? And then, down here, we've got a list of clues. Facial clues, what does their face look like? What is their body doing? And then what are their physical reactions? Are they hiding if they're sad? Are they laughing if they're happy? So when I pass this out, you're gonna fill this out on your own. And then we have another activity for the back, okay? Turn your paper over, please. On the back side, boys and girls, we are now going to collect stories of each of us as we have felt these emotions, okay? So, let me show you an example. We have a paper here that says angry. You are going to write your name and a situation in which you felt this emotion. Then we are going to trade papers. And if you get a paper that says angry, you're going to write your name and a situation in which you felt angry. And by the time we're finished, we'll have collected enough stories so that we can see how all of these different situations made somebody feel that way. 
even if we wouldn't feel that way, we understand that somebody else might feel that way. I'm gonna let you quietly get up and mingle. So it's your job to find a paper for happy, sad, worried, angry, surprised, and afraid. For the last few minutes of our activity, I would like each of you to buddy up with your SEL buddy, find a comfy corner around the room or a place at your desks, and read over those stories and share them with your buddy. Do you agree? Would you feel differently in that situation? I felt worried when I was going to jump off the diving board. I felt worried when I moved. Abby, I felt sad when I got hurt. I felt afraid when I said no to my mom. I felt worried when I got lost. I was happy when I found a watch at Moab. Noah, I felt worried when I was going to sing it in front of the whole school. Boys and girls, I'm very proud of the way you work together today. What we were trying to accomplish is a deeper understanding of how other people feel in certain situations, even when the way they feel is different than how we would feel. What's that called? Empathy. What's that called? Empathy. That's my class. Okay, so as you think about these things, remember that even if I don't feel that way, I can recognize how somebody else might feel and I'm going to use those facial cues and the way they're acting to help me realize that they're not feeling the way I think they're feeling. Okay, and that's extremely important. Very well.